Here's part one of our conversation with Steve Lukather. I think this is our fifth conversation with Steve as we talk about, with a little help from my friends, the new Toto live album based on the stream. And it features David Page, of course. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Dude, I am working on a documentary, my own documentary. What was the next question? How's that going? Well, I had to put it on hold because the director's in the UK and he can't travel. Sony, Sony's funding it and behind it. And they came to me with the idea to do it. And I was like, wow. I mean, there's never going to be a Toto story because there's just too many. It's just, you know, that's just not going to happen. <laughs> uh, Paul Hayward, last question from YouTube. He said, um, playing with uh, Steve Vai and uh, Joe Satriani as part of the G3 in Brisbane, Australia, quite a few years ago. Do you remember that? You have good memories? Yes, of- yes I have fantastic memories. I was terrified, but Joe and Steve are dear friends of mine, you know, and musical heroes of mine. And they had me along for the ride, man. I was like, just to get to be a G, man. I was like, you know, getting a Super Bowl ring, you know. Uh, I mean, obviously, they can wipe the floor with me, but I had a great time. We all got on and we had a blast. And I got to witness great guitar playing. We got to jam a little bit at the end, you know. And it was, you know, for me, it was a thrill, you know. And I was all very honored to get asked by Joe to do it and have that. And John Petrucci was on some of it. So it was just fun. Great musicians hanging out backstage and, and just and it was just a fun fest, laugh fest, best time ever. You guys still promoting the obviously the, the two solo albums, which yeah, man, really nicely done. And the thing yeah, is, what you both gave me, you gave me something a little different. You there was stuff in there that every Toto fan can relate to, but but you also gave on both those albums stuff that that we're going, yeah, thanks for expanding us a little bit here and there. Other sides well, of your personality. Well, yeah, I wanted to make a record quick live. I mean, that was figured. I thought was the only new something new I could bring to the party. I mean, everybody makes records with computers now. I thought, well, let's no rehearsals, no demos. Let's just here's the charts. I wanted I wanted to jam, but I wanted to jam in the context of really good songs. So I picked the the covers first because I wanted to take that 1971-72 era mentality and way of recording, which is solos live you know, everything but the vocals live. And that's what we did. So for me, to really commit and not cheat, I'd had all the solos on that record live on the record. And I didn't fix it. I didn't futz it on the computer. It was real. So that was the challenge for me. And I and, and for me, uh, it brought the best out of me. And the band was so incredible. And Greg Bissonnette on drums, Jorgen Carlson on bass, with, along with John Pierce on bass and a couple tracks. And then you had the unbelievable keyboard team of David Page and Jeff Babco. And Page playing his old Hammond, giving me the old Steve Winwood stuff. And yeah, yeah. Babs playing these beautiful piano solos and all the sound effects and all that stuff. And even the shit that would just do by accident. The first song, Along for the Ride, has this big section in the middle. I said, I don't know, let, let's make it like The Who. Go play, go crazy on the middle of that because then we'll figure it out. You know, I said that to Greg and all of a sudden the run through went. And I heard that, you know, the, 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 yeah. the sin, you know, the Babco nailed it, was playing it manually. So I said that we got excited about that. And, you know, so there was everybody brought stuff to the party and we just had a blast. It was like really fun. Like you go back to a playback and go, that's the record, except for the vocals. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so it was like, we really did this, you know, the old guys could still go out there and do it, you know, where a lot of young people, they, they get to the first chorus and they go, we'll just loop it, you know, just cut and paste you know then you play the song from top to bottom we'll have more from steve lukather coming up the next few days make sure you comment on our video subscribe to our channel and share our videos you can buy a t-shirt help support the channel if you don't want a t-shirt and just want to send in a donation there's a paypal link at the very top of the description i'm john Bowden. this is rock history music